Yo, it's my favorite normie. Like my new fedora? My homie? <laughs> Come here. I want to show you something. Check this out. I posted an epic meme on Reddit yesterday, and now it's got 69 updates. <laughs> nice. You okay? You're acting like spaghetti is falling out of your pockets. Just anxiety? Mood. So, anything exciting happened to you over the weekend? What? You saw a pupper? And it was a Shiba Inu? Oh, I'm so jealous. Oh, I would give all the karma in the world to see a doji in person. But guess what? You weren't the only person to see something exciting. Let me pull up the pic. Here, check it out. Top text, when the trash bin, bottom text is sus. <laughs> no, you don't get it. I'm using the dead meme ironically. Why do you still look confused? Do I seriously need to give you a lesson on the life cycle of memes? Ugh, fine. So, memes start out on the best website in the world, Reddit. And that's where they're funny. Then the Instagram and TikTok normies, like you, get a hold of them. That's when the humor starts to decline, and after that... The meme gets posted on Facebook and officially dies. And shortly after that is when the meme becomes ironic and okay to use again. It's a glorious cycle where the original punchline is completely overused and the overuse of the punchline becomes the punchline. Do you get it now? No. Ah, <sighs> this is why I keep telling you to make a Reddit account. I swear, the memes you find on there will be ten times better than whatever you find on Twitter. <laughs> whatever. One of these days, I'll convince ya. Welp, I've gotta get to class. I'll see you later, kind stranger. Huh? You need to tell me something? Oh, sure. Just make it quick. The faster I get to class, the sooner I'll be able to scroll through more memes under my desk. It's... something you've wanted to tell me for a long time? Okay... You're worried I might not like you anymore after you say it? <sighs> Don't worry. Nothing you can say would ever make me hate you. Unless you say something cringe. Because then I'll have to make fun of you online. What's this? A box? Okay, I'll open it, but I'm completely lost right now. Is this... chocolate? For real? You know I prefer Doritos. No, I still want the chocolate. Thanks, I guess. Now, you wanted to tell me something? Yeah, we've known each other for quite a while. Yeah, I've told you how much I want romance, but... Uh, let's get real. Nobody likes cultured individuals such as myself anymore. I mean, I feel like my standards aren't high, 
All I ask for in someone is somebody with a perfect face, a perfect body, a pleasant voice, a Reddit account with at least 4,000 karma, and a willingness to take care of all my chores, and also who has seen all five seasons of Rick and Morty. I'm not asking for much, but apparently, good people don't exist outside of the internet anymore. There... is someone like that? What... what do you mean? That person is... who? You? a joke? For real? You... You seriously... Seriously want me... To be your... Little pog champ? You do! Oh... 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 Am I into you? Well... You only meet two of my six requirements. But... For some reason... My heart doesn't care about that. I... I think I... might? <sighs> this is so weird. My palms are all sweaty, my knees feel weak, and my arms are heavy. I feel like at any moment my heart will burst out of my chest, beating to the tune of Megalovania! What's happening to me? This... is how you feel when you're around me? Every time? Wow. Um... <laughs> um... Maybe I am in love. What if... What if we kissed right now? <laughs> JK. Uh, JK. Unless... Sorry, I used humor as a way to mask my low self-esteem, but... It's only worsened by the fact that I pretend to be content with my condition through these memes, while in reality, this self-loathing is only growing to the point where I can't bear basic human interaction because I've assumed failure before I even started. Wait. No. No, 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 no. That can't be it. I... I think I love you, but... I love memes even more. And I can't give up my internet points for the sake of a normie's heart. You think there's a way I can love memes and you? But that goes against everything 4chan taught me! There's no way a normie could like me! I'm too awkward and overbearing, and my priorities are in all the wrong places! Normies don't understand memes! Things are still like how they were in the 90s and 2000s! Nerds aren't mainstream and memes are too niche to be popular! There's no way the average person understands this stuff. I have to pick a side. Do you... Do you really think I don't have to choose a side? <sighs> Fine. I... I accept my feelings for you, and... And for memes. I love you. I love you and I want to try this whole... relationship thing. 
But I have some ground rules. Rule number one, you need to make a Reddit account. Today. No ifs, ands, or buts. No exceptions. Rule number two. No hand-holding before marriage. And... Rule number three. I have this cat made outfit that I want you to wear. It looks just like my wife Yuri Honoka Sato, aka Yuri-chan, from the hit manga anime series Is It Wrong to Stop the Neko Maid Cafe, even though the girls there have big bonhonka baloos? You'll follow them? <laughs> That's great to hear! I can't believe this! I'm... I'm actually in a relationship! I've gotta be the first person ever on Reddit to ever have one of those! Oh, this is gonna get me so much karma! Hey, make a goofy face for me really quick. There we go. And now to caption it. When the normie in school, sc school, school, there we go, asks you out and you say yes. And there. And post it to r slash memes. Oh, um, sorry. I didn't mean to ignore you. I just got caught up in the moment. Now, how about we look online and see if they have that maid dress in your su- Oh no, I'm late! Oh, there won't be enough time to scroll through my favorite subs at this rate! I gotta go! Uh, bye! Strangers to love. You know the rules, and so do I. A nerd commitment's what I'm thinking of. Though you're a normie, I still want you as my guy. I just gotta tell you how I'm feeling. But I'll say it through a meme. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down Never gonna run around and desert you Unless r slash memes gets back to me It makes me a mod then we're through, babe Though we've known each other for so long And your heart's been aching, i afraid I can't give a shit Because the memes matter so much to me so stop complaining and being a bitch I just wanna be a total meme queen I can't think of any other words And that's the end of the song Thank you to all my $9 patrons for supporting this video. Aiden S2014, Alexander Lee, Angelic Panda, Orsalan Falati, Urisville, Brantley Wigard, Chief, D4C, Darts Z, Declan Benoln, Delboy, Draco, Dragonblood Fire X, Ellison Wilson, Ereviv, Evil Doer, Felonil W 2011, Frank, Gavin, Isaac Coria, Jace, Joel Climaco, Jonesi, Cade, Lawbringer DK, Lex, Liam Hughes, Lone Survivor 3, Man of Many Bees, Mark Mason, Maxwell Lukier, Nick Capone, PDP, Patrick Jan Josua Davidson, Poyup, Prism, Prototype Number 13, Sean Malcolm, Sleepy Sloth, Sneedly Chuck, Sonrox, Body to Hottie, Tommy, Uriel Herrera, Will, XX Antitrix Never Sorry 17 XX, Zach Hale, and Zivis01. Thank you all so, so much for being able to make these videos possible. It really means the world and more to me that you guys support me the way that you do. 
If any of you would like to support me out there, I'll leave the links to my social media down below. There you can find both my Ko-Fi and my Patreon. That way, if you want to make a one-time donation, you can, and if you want to continue to support me full-time, you can also. Thank you all again so much for listening to today's audio or watching today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!